In today's episode of The Pit Stop, we're gonna reverse engineer it, right? I want you all to think like a consumer. Think like a consumer, you won't. <laughs> think like a consumer, you won't. <laughs> exactly. I dare you. You guys need to start to think like a consumer because, you know, Chris, you you won't. Maybe it's like reverse psychology. You know, you got little kids. It's like, oh, don't brush your teeth. And you say, don't brush your teeth. They're going to start brushing their teeth just because you yeah. tell them not to do it. Yeah. Don't, don't you know, <laughs> color on the front door with a magic marker. And you know what? It's a race to the door to color with magic marker. Yeah. You know? And uh, so today we want to talk about... Um, you know, thinking like a consumer and reverse engineering things. We've been like digging through a million things and, um, you know, answering, always answering questions, getting a lot of feedback. And the, the constant question is, um, you, you know, how can we get more orders? What can we do to push the needle? Is the advertising working? Um, you, you know, all of these things. And, you know, and at, at the end of the month, when I see 700 abandoned cart emails, that's scary to me, right? It's, it's scary because it's like, all right, you want more traffic, you want more customers. What about the 700 customers that wanted to give you their business or something? Yeah. It's like your mind's in the wrong place. Yeah, and so, you know, you know we, we've got to re reverse engineer this, right? What are consumers looking for? I mean, when, you, when you're buying something, man, like online, like what are you looking for um, from, from that, like, from that website? Well, and yeah, for that, from that company. Yeah, you're looking for trust. So, is this somebody that I can trust? Is it? Do they offer the the payment method that I have? Whether it's credit card, PayPal, um, is the price good? Uh, it's a lot of. It could be a lot of things. That's that's mm -hmm. the that's the point. It can be a lot of things. And how do you know what that pain point is? Because people can abandon their cart for multiple reasons. It could be because of the website. It could be who knows. And the only way for you really to find out is to have a system to potentially follow up with these people, whether it's via email, for you know, live chat, a phone call. Consumers want direct access when they want it, and they want it now. It's instant gratification. We live in an, in, a, in a world of instant gratification. Swipe right for a date. I, I don't use those those apps, but is, is it swipe swipe right? Yeah, I'm, I'm a American. I don't know. I haven't yeah. used those apps either. Yeah, that, that's yeah, and so. <laughs> Um, but uh, I'm happily taken now. That was the past. And you know, so <laughs> you, you want a date? Boom! Like sorry, but you want uh, want a cab? Um, Uber. We live in a world of instant gratification, and we got to think about the, the the consumers and their you know what are you doing to give them that instant gratification? And you know what are the the multiple points of contact that you have on on your website? Right. And I think people are taking it for granted how competitive the landscape is with the Ebays and the Amazons. And you get somebody to your website, like you guys got to be a lot more excited than you are because they're giving you, not only could they have gone to eBay, Amazon, any other website in the world, they went to your website. And on top of it, they're putting items in a cart that shows intent and they you're not following, their... you're, they filled out a form they, and you're not following up with them. That's so frustrating because it's like you guys are taking this not, you know, I'm not, maybe it's, maybe you, you who are watching this are not taking this for granted, but there's a lot of people that are taking this for granted and it's very frustrating. The, and the times have changed. The times have changed. Right. Yeah. And, and they're, they're only going to continue to evolve and consumers still buy the experience. And, and we always say this around here, like, um, always be accessible, hmm. right? Like, what are you doing to create um, a direct access and direct accessibility to uh, between you and the consumer, or more importantly, to the consumer to, to you? You know, we hear, oh, we don't have time to answer the phones. We, you know, like, we don't have time to, um, you know, handle, handle the chat. Guys, like, 700 abandoned cart emails, 100 abandoned cart emails, um, X amount of canceled orders. The amount of work that t that it takes to get those people to your website, the amount of money that it took to get them there, and they filled out the form, they've given you their information, and you're not following up with them, or you're not answering the right questions. Like, 
consumers want to be nurtured. They 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 they're all about the experience. Um, you, you know, we we have to um, consistently be thinking about that on a daily, weekly, monthly um, monthly basis. I, I really you, you know need you guys to start thinking like the consumer and put yourself in the consumer's shoes. That's so true. I and mean, we're all consumers and we forget that, well, of course I would like to have a live chat on my website. It's instant. Who won it? Mm-hmm. If a flight is delayed, what's the first thing people do? They go to Twitter and they yell at JetBlue and within seconds you get a response back. They yeah. understand how important it is. And it's it's not whether you want to do it or not. It's it's expected. This is what cons- it's we as consumers expect it now and you know you can't be naive as a business to be like oh well you know i I don't have the bandwidth or not well that's too bad this is what it is it's either sink or swim you got to adapt to the behavior or you know somebody else is going to adapt and they're going to take all your money (laughs) so you know it's uh, it's a really good uh, point chris that you just made sink or swim Right. And think about the guys down, you know, down the street or think about um, that favorite restaurant that you go to and why you enjoy going there. And it's about the experience that you treat them uh, or they treat you well. And, um, you know, the same, you know, the same thing applies here. And, you know, if somebody walks up to your parts counter, are you just going to, you know, ignore them? Absolutely not. The point is, is, you know, guys, we, we really have to focus on the experience. Think like a consumer, like be a consumer and um, think about that path. And, and these are the things that are, are going to separate you from your competitors in an, in an uberly competitive environment that just continues to get more and more competitive each each day. Mm hmm. So, um, that's, uh, that, that, that's what we got here today on the, in, in today's uh, podcast, 10 minutes or less, think like a consumer and, um, uh, we'll be back again. Hit subscribe, by the way. You won't. You won't do it. <laughs> Share with your friends. You won't. You should. <laughs> <laughs>